Hey everyone, Ace Lawson here, and today we need to build ourselves a mob farm. I feel like that's the next step of what we should be doing. And I did a little bit of research about mob farms, and they are difficult. You have to do a lot of prep work, and you also have to go do all the caves so that this doesn't happen. But also, apparently, when mobs spawn, they, like, never disappear in bedrock version. So, apparently, that's gonna lag everything up. So, what we're gonna try and do is light up the entire island, kill as many mobs as possible because that's the only way they'll despawn, and yeah, so, we gotta make a crap ton of torches. <laughs> hmm. I think we have oh, we have one wooden plank on us. Yeah, that's that's not quite gonna cut it. <laughs> um, any wood or sticks in here? There's some coal. I'll take that. But like no wood. So. Hmm. We need to chop down a tree and make some sticks and make an axe. All right, axe acquired. I'm gonna put my cake there. Then I can save it. <laughs> um, I have two regular furnaces on me. Uh, where should I put these? I could put them in the ground. Hmm, I'm not too sure. I'll figure that out later. So I'll put you in here. A lava bucket can go in here. Alright, I need to make some more chests. After... After all this is said and done, our next step will have to be to create a actual building designate <laughs> designate <laughs> designated to we'll have to build a building that's designated to making oh my god we'll have to build a building that's designated for chests and storage all right now let's go chop down some trees luckily our world is pretty nice and it is chock full of trees. And one there. Alright. So let's mine the rest of these down. All right, I think I grabbed enough wood. And uh, gosh, there's more saplings. I planted a lot of saplings. <laughs> there's so many. There we go, there's a spot. So, looks like we got almost two stacks worth of wood. That's, that's gonna, that should be pretty good, right? I don't know, I've never lit up an entire island and a cave systems before. So I guess we'll see how it turns out. this that was too high <laughs> all right stacking eight well whoops Boop. 
There we go. Now let's continue by doing what I was doing before. What I did originally is I went around the outside of the island so that I got all the light there and then I would go on the inside. But I finished, I need to finish the outside first. <sighs> well, we need to make more torches, but we lit up the area just that much more, so that means less spawns. <laughs> if you can hear my brother screaming and whistling in the background, that's because the town that I'm living in, I live in a small town, the people are graduating right now, so there's a lot of screaming and cheering. Probably not the best time to make a video, huh? But I wanted to, so we're doing it anyways. <laughs> Let's go up this way. Who's hitting me? What hit me? Cobblestone here? Did a creeper just explode? I didn't even see it. Killing the monsters, because they will know. <gasps> no. We just got a trident. I can't believe we just got a trident. That's. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how rare that is. But I've heard it's it's pretty dang rare to get one of these. Holy crap. You just got a freaking trident. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, do we light up most of this area? I don't know. I'm going to put a torch here just to be safe. I guess what we could do in the meantime, during the daytime at least, we could try and start building it. Now, what I was thinking would be a good spot to build it would be on one of these uh, islands over here. And also what I heard is that if you actually go up into the air, because the way you have to do this is there can't be any mobs in the caves or on the surface, but mobs can only spawn a certain distance from you. They can't be too close or too far. And to clear, you have to go into peaceful mode and then back to your normal mode to be able to make it work. And I was like, Thinking, what if I just went up into the sky? Like I made the distance that I need to be from the mob spawner, but went up. And I was wondering if that would work. Because if they spawn below in the caves, why don't I just go up to where they'll spawn in the thing, and I won't, like, mess with it. I don't know, that's what I was just thinking. So I thought maybe if I flatten that island right there, then maybe it could work there. Maybe at least. I'm not too sure. Hey everyone. And uh, as you can see off into the distance there, you can see we built our mob spawner. I decided to build it over the ocean because I saw this guy's video named Silent Whisperer. He showed how to make that mob spawner and it works a lot better in the middle of the ocean. And it's, it's pretty intense. I'm not gonna lie. And that also it will explain why this video is out so late is because this thing took me literally just these few days to make. And also I was moving some things. We're trying to move some things in around the house. So it's a little difficult right now for me to record. So, And I was like, most of the time when I was building it, it just 
wasn't really entertaining enough in my opinion. It looked really boring, I didn't see why you guys would want to watch me just place down a bunch of blocks. And I didn't really say anything that interesting. But, what I will do, is I will show you it, and, well hopefully I can show you it, let me in here. And hopefully I can get it going for you guys. It's pretty awesome, it's really big. <laughs> like giant I actually messed up building it I built it too high so I had to destroy I was so far into it and I destroyed it I accidentally destroyed like half of it or something and I was so upset but yeah if you go up here basically you have to set your game mode to peaceful before you go up here so that mobs, like bad ones, don't spawn under like the water and whatnot. And so you go all the way up here to where it's like, you know, far enough from the mobs, but a good distance from the mob farm. And yeah, and then you turn it to hard. There we go. I set my game mode to hard mode now. And now we should hopefully, if I stand here in the middle, like you have to stand in the middle, I should hopefully start seeing some mobs spawn and drop I don't know if you guys will be able to see any or not but there will be mobs that spawn but yeah they'll spawn there and then what I do is I go down here <clears throat> and I have see right here he had a thing called the trident killer here and it would also make it an XP farm but you needed like ice and obviously tridents to do it and uh, uh, sticky pistons and I don't have slime blocks I don't have ice and I just don't have enough tridents either so I decided to just go to the nether get some of these I, I died in the nether again <laughs> and yeah I put these instead so that they burn it doesn't give me any XP but they burn to death and it just gives me all their items and it not only just gets uh, bad mobs, it also gets fish because since it's above an ocean and all this glass up here took forever to freaking get. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys. These, these past few days, this has been like the most like aggravating thing to build in my entire life. Ugh, gosh. Anyway, but it spawns water like fish and drowns in there. So that's why we're able to get, like, the, the, oh my gosh, Nautilus, Nautilus shells? You can correct me if I'm wrong on that. But yeah, it, it works pretty dang quick. The one that he had, I think it was like 720 things per hour. No, no, not 720, uh, sorry. It was 7,200 per hour but he actually had two of them he had one here and then one on the opposite end and he was just and he i think he said with the xp you could get to 30 in i think it was seven minutes no it it must have been less than that i don't really quite remember all the specifics but i just remember that it was good and it was fast and i really hope this is worth it I really hope this was worth it. Surprisingly enough, it didn't actually use as much cobblestone as I thought, because when I saw the top, I was like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna build all this? And it's like glass and cobblestone within there. So, yeah, there's a lot that goes into this build. But yeah, the cobblestone wasn't as much as I thought. The worst thing was the glass. Having to just run to just random places around the map and collect sand and then smelt it all. It sucked. It really sucked. But we have it now. It's all done. And now we can hopefully get the benefits from it. Hopefully. <laughs> I made it look all nice. I put like torches going down the way with these walls. Because you actually needed to use walls to make it. Because see right here. And then I had a... I was like, you know it would be nice? If I did this so that I don't fall because... 
I don't trust myself. I'm kind of a klutz. Not going to lie. And I really hope that this is enough chest and iron because after building this whole thing and all the... You had to use buttons. All the wood that I used, I was like, I have enough for this many chests, you know? I'm not going to go mine more trees down. And I'm not going to mine in more places anymore. I, I was like, I'm done. I'm done with it. <laughs> oh, I'm just so happy that this is all done. Gosh, this thing is giant. I've never built something so huge in Minecraft before. Well, that's not actually entirely true. I once built a mansion, but that was a long time ago. And it's it wasn't for anything that was technical. Like this is this is intense. This is so cool. I'm trying to see if I can see anything. It's very difficult to tell. But yeah, I also had to do a ton of research on this thing. Like, I was trying to figure out how far away do you need to be away from mobs? Uh, what do you need to spawn mobs? Um, and like, I had to specifically look for bedrock since, you know, I'm playing this on my phone. And it was just so much technical things had to go into this. And I'm so glad that this is over. And I, I can't even tell you how many times I've fallen off this thing and fell all the way down in the water and had to swim. <laughs> To this freaking ladder. <laughs> well, it was funny, but it should all be worth it now, hopefully. And yeah, that was pretty much all that happened. I'm sorry I didn't really record it. it. Just it just didn't look that interesting to me, and I didn't think you guys would really find it interesting either. What is going on with my hand? hand <laughs> but yeah hopefully whoa hopefully we can get a lot out of this thing definitely gonna do some afk sessions on this world i'm really nervous though now because i'm gonna be getting a new phone today and minecraft pocket edition doesn't do very well at transferring worlds and so I'm really nervous that I might have just put all this effort into it and now the uh, world's going to be deleted and all of this is going to be uh, for nothing. So uh, yeah, that's fun. Wait, is my auto jump on? Ooh, okay, now we should be good. Yep, perfect. Okay, I don't like auto jump. Auto jump sucks. But yeah... I've breeded the cows a few times. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I literally just emptied out most of the important things from my person into this chest. Uh, I'm gonna steal some apples. But yeah, that was pretty much it for this episode, guys. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next. I'm probably just gonna work on this. And, oh, I know exactly what I'm gonna work on next. A storage system. We're definitely gonna have to build a storage unit thing. That's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> and I still need to light up the island so mobs don't spawn on it. We'll get there. It's just gonna take time. Anyway, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching, and again, sorry this is coming out a little late. I'm going to try and make them a little bit quicker now. I'm going to do my best at least. I just want to make sure I only put out the best kind of videos for you guys. I don't want to just, just go all in and just throw out something random and stupid that isn't going to be that interesting. And I really hope you guys enjoy that I'm doing that instead of just posting quickly and making stupid content that doesn't matter. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.